most of us are waiting the new documentary on the Idaho 4 killings, which I believe will be streaming on Paramount Plus today. I'm going to try my very best to watch it somehow, and I'm interested to see if there is any new information in that episode of 48 Hours. I've seen the trailer and I know both Kaylee Gonsalves sister and parents share some details of the episode, as well as Anna Kernadal's sister. Steve Gonsalves believes that Brian Koberger came inside the house with a kill kit, which included the knife, which by the way has never been found. Steven Gonsalves told Fox News that he heard Brian is receiving some pretrial privileges, such as suits for court, video and computer special treatment. He is also being given vegan meals, which was a topic of discussion very early on in this case. Brian was apparently a very strict vegan, to the point where he needed his meals to be cooked in different pots and pans. He didn't want his food in the same pots and pans that meat was being cooked in. How interesting is that? Well, the sheriff said that they will be catering to his vegan needs, but they will not be buying new pots and pans for him. Steve Gonsalves said he tried to find out who paid for the suits, and get information about the defense budget through a public records request, but that request was denied due to the gag order. However, Steve said he witnessed the moment they agreed not to cuff him in court. Both the defense and prosecution seek to ban cameras from the courtroom, even though the Gonsalves and Kernadal families want cameras, they want the public to view everything that is going on. He said it seems that the judge and prosecution are overly concerned with accommodating the defense, leaving them, the advocates for their children, with no choice but to step forward. I personally believe cameras should be allowed in this case. Why all the secrecy?